Let's find the inverse of this function. Got f of x is equal x to the third minus 5. Step 1. Replace f of x with y. So this becomes y is equal x to the third minus 5. Step 2. Interchange x and y. Swap them. So we got x is equal y to the third minus 5. Step 3. Solve for y. So I'm going to take negative 5 over. It becomes a positive 5. And at th third power, I'll rewrite as 3 over 1. Now, to get rid of this power, we just need to raise both sides to a reciprocal of this. So this is going to become x plus 5. And reciprocal means fraction flipped. So 3 over 1 is 1 third. So we're going to take both sides to the 1 over 3 power. Um, now, we don't have to put, worry about the plus or minus, because the number up on top here is odd. Remember, if this is even, we would have had to put a plus or minus over here. Well, 3's cancel. And the 1 third power is the same as the cube root. So this is the cube root of x plus 5. And this just gives us y here. Uh, whatever number is in your denominator, this 3 is what goes in your slot here. That's your index. Step 4. Put your inverse notation in. So the inverse of f is equal to the cube root of x plus 5. Now this is already 1 to 1, so we don't need to worry about doing anything extra. That's our answer.